My name is Steve and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to present the life and sad ending of Ted Cassidy. Ted Cassidy, of course, is most famous for playing Lurch on The Addams Family. Theodore Crawford Cassidy was born July 31st, 1932 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and was brought up in West Virginia. Cassidy was a gifted child and was a freshman in high school by age 11 where he played basketball and football. After graduating from high school, Cassidy attended West Virginia Wesleyan College where he was a member of the Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity. Later, he transferred to Stetson University in Florida where he played college basketball. After earning a degree in speech and drama, he married Margaret Jesse in 1956 and they moved to Dallas, Texas. His acting career started while he was working as a midday disc jockey in Dallas. He also appeared on WFAA-TV Channel 8 playing Creech, an outer space creature on the Dialing for Dollars afternoon program. He gave an in-studio report from WFAA radio station on the day John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Ted Cassie was very tall, standing 6 feet 9, and had a deep bass voice. He starred on many TV shows including Star Trek, I Dream of Jeannie, Bonanza, Ironside, Lost in Space, The Six Million Dollar Man, and many, many others. He is perhaps best known for playing the part of Lurch on The Addams Family. If you're enjoying this video, please come over to the Life and Sad Ending channel. That's the main channel. And there we present some mini biographies of deceased celebrities and also uh, little stories about some people who are still living for a change. So check that out. I appreciate it. Where he also played the part of Thing. Cassidy as Lurch ad-libbed his signature line. You're right. Thereafter, it was a recurring phrase written into the show script. Cassidy was a very prolific voice actor in his career, lending his talents to shows like The Incredible Hulk. He also voiced Frankenstein Jr. in Frankenstein Jr. and the Impossibles, Space Ghost, The New Fantastic Four, and many other animated series. In 1965, he released a 45 RPM record with the song The Lurch. He performed the dance and song The Lurch on the show Shindig. Cassidy also appeared in films, including Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969, McKenna's Gold, the last remake of Bo Jess in 1977, and Going Coconuts in 1978. In his last years, he suffered from health problems due to his size, and he died on January 16, 1979, from complications following open-heart surgery. He was only 46 years old. Ted Cassidy was cremated, and his ashes were buried in his backyard of his home. You know, Ted Cassidy's son, Sean, contacted me after I released this video and advised me that his father had not died because of illnesses related to his size. So that is a correction that needs to be made here. Also about the whereabouts of his ashes, uh, Sean wasn't really sure where they ended up. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Consider subscribing and liking, also subscribing at the Life and Sad Ending channel, and I'll see you again next time, unless I come to my own sad ending.